Hello, hello, hello. 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 How are y'all doing today? I hope good. If you're in Minnesota, um, it seems like we're on the trend towards spring, or so I hope. I don't really know. I, um, I can't read into the weather, but um, I hope that it's so. Um, ooh, that's a little bit better. Sorry, just... Yeah, that's pretty good. In any case, I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, and people can join later and um, catch up later. My name is Sandy McManus and this is NeedsAreuben.com and I'm bringing you a Let's Kit Together. And tonight we are going to be doing the Saying Thanks card kit. Um, and with our kits, like all my other kit togethers, we put them together together we join each other you bring your kit and watch and join follow along or do it later but we do them together i learn you learn and i share what i learn with you that is the premise of a let's kit together so let's go ahead and get started so tonight for let's kit together again this is sandy with needsribbon.com we are going to put together the same thanks card kit. It is item 162361. And I don't remember the price, but it's somewhere around $13 maybe. And we're going to open. I had to take the shrink wrap off mine already because my cat puked on it. Um, but I have not opened it beyond that. So again, I hold to the premise of let's truly kit together. I'm going to put my box aside for now. And this is the kit, saying thanks card kit. And it's so pretty and it's so, it just, it makes me smile because of the colors um, in the kit. And it's just happy and not like this in between winter, spring, whatever, whatever, whatever weather you're having. It's been a rough winter for, I think for a lot of people. So I'm gonna go ahead and open the shrink wrap on the kit. It, I believe is an all-inclusive kit and I think it's also one that doesn't require any stamping so okay I'm gonna stop a minute so one of the things that when we do our kit together is whether I'm doing a paper pumpkin kit or another type of kit recommended tools but not a hundred percent necessary that I recommend that you have on hand always a scissor our little snips are fantastic because they're short and easy and super sharp um, instead of the long like craft scissors the little ones are a lot easier if you want your take your pick tool can be really good for picking up embellishments or doing other things and a bone folder for sharp creasing but if you've watched my other kit togethers you know that i have other tools that i often use instead of a bone folder i think bone folder is the best but sometimes i forget to bring one with so we're going to put that aside and the other thing if there is stamping involved is i recommend our foam mat um, but again that's for best success that doesn't mean you can't get best success without having those tools it's just it's a suggestion for improved ease but not a hundred percent necessary so I'm gonna go ahead and take all whoop things are falling already take my shrink wrap off and so I can't even let's look at the instructions first before I start breaking the kit apart um, the saying thanks card kit it here is our card one two oh these are in the instructions I always have to look because it kind of varies the saying thanks card kit components makes it looks like nine cards three each of three styles it includes the colors of basic black daffodil delight gorgeous grape granny apple green poppy parade and tahitian tide the tahitian tide is a really pretty blue it's kind of turquoise but not really it really is more of a really falls more true blue close 
anyway that's the color nerd in me coming out so yeah nine cards and nine envelopes and all these supplies and I don't believe there's any stamping by looking at that so I that's step one I always look at the back first to see what you're getting into and then because this is a kit and not a paper pumpkin subscription um it is available internationally in whatever um, languages. So just something to keep in mind. Um, like if you are in the U.S. and wanted to buy a gift for someone internationally, you could probably find something of their language. Um, English is pretty universal, but there is that option too. Um, so here is our card one, card two, and card three instructions. So I'm going to go ahead and fold back to look at card one again it does not look like there is any stamping so here is our kit here's our little embellishments here's our adhesive it looks like pull this stuff out um, put the zippy bag aside so we have foam strips and foam strips so no dimensional styles strips this time we have some baker's twine in white we have our very pretty uh, uh, envelopes they're all the same nine colored envelopes and for those that like doing alternates that don't always like to put your kit together the same the the way of the instructions i will teach you the way of the instructions but i might include some other tips is <clears throat> um i'm already seeing since this is basically a white envelope with just some pretty paper, you could cut that off and you might be able to do something. Think about like even punching a flower out of that or a heart or, or, hmm, I got some ideas. I don't generally do alternates with my kids for a lot of reasons, but I certainly appreciate those that do in more ways than I can ever express. So there's card one card base card two card base and card three i am going to only assemble one of each tonight so one of each style and you just have to repeat the steps or not do one of each and then maybe do alternates with the other it just kind of kind of depends on what your jam is so those are our card bases um and oh my god goodness okay so this kit already comes in its other languages well again i learn as i open because i don't read ahead i don't want to peek actually so we have it in english french german and i'm gonna guess dutch so we get three sheets to use those three bold greetings in that one we're gonna set that aside we get again three languages and we get three sheets of those so it looks like we probably use that one and then that one so one two and then the big bold greetings three and then we get three sheets for one set of the three cards with these little heart punch outs awesome i'm going to go ahead and set that aside so i already looking at my instructions i'm going to put that aside um the first card we're going to work with is the kind of watermark um, rainbow dots they look like colored water spots and my tip that I've taught especially if you don't have a bone folder flip it out you're just kind of breaking down the cardstock to get it a flatter fold and do that um, if you feel the need to take a bone folder to get it really flat there you go I've used blocks too to do that so what we need to do, let's look at our instructions. Um, and I suspect this kit together will be pretty short tonight. I don't know, but I just kind of suspect. So the first thing we need is we, we're going to need one of these big, bold um, cutout thanks for this card number one. We're going to need nine and a half inches, it says, of our baker's twine. And like all our instructions, they come with empirical, well, if it's a kit, it comes with empirical and metric measurements. Our paper pumpkin kits come with just um, 
empirical because they're only sold in the US. So that's about nine and a half inches. It's we have a nine inch marking and I'll just add a little bit extra. Okay. Let's go back to that. So you don't need a ruler. I like to use grid paper, which also has the ruler on there too. So there's that. So it looks like what we're going to do is take, I can't tell. Um, nope, we need the short strips for this card one. So we have two sheets of the foam strips, double-sided foam strips. And we also sell something like this too, for those interested. They make for easy, easy, all kinds of things, shaker cards and whatnot. So we need to take a shorter strip, just so you know where you are, and put one up here. And we need to take another strip. So we're using two of them and I already dropped it. Whoops. And put that over here. And, oh, we need a, okay. News to me, but okay. We need a You're the Best, one of these. Thanks, You're the Best. And it looks like we put a short strip of the foam on the back of the You're the Best to pop it up. Again, you don't have to use the foam strips. You could save them for something else and just put everything flat on your project. So I'm gonna guess by the instructions that we need to make a loop. And if you've watched me before, I have my own kind of tip. When you're talking about, well, we'll see. Okay, so it's nine and a half inches about. So we need to fold it over so it kind of folds back on itself for about, so we get three, however, we fold it into thirds. That's the better way to say it. Uh, fold it into thirds. Something like that. And then we're going to plop it so it goes across. So it just kind of sits. If you don't like how floppy it is, I mean, that tape took it right away. You could always just tie a loose knot, a slip knot, in the middle. Um, I've done that usually when the pieces are bigger, when they're getting up to a 12 inch piece or whatever, they get kind of unwieldy. And that's what I like to do. So we're going to take, we've released the backing. We've put, we've cut our twine, we've looped it, and now we need to place it. So again, there is no perfection in this. So I'm trying to see, their card front looks different than mine, only a little. Maybe I'm being weird. So I'm going to place mine so it sits just above those two red dots. And then we need to release the backing on the You're the Best and put that underneath, kind of bump it up. Oops, we want to make sure. I like that. So it kind of covers up some of the tailoring there. And then we need to take five of our, one just fell off. It's somewhere on my table already. Okay. I lost one of my diamonds. Hopefully they, oh, there it is. You see that? I found it, yay. So we need to put five on our card to just kind of make it sparkle. And there is no particular order. You can tilt them, have fun with them. That's my recommendation. So there we go. So there's card one already. Isn't that cute? I just love this card kit. And honestly, for what's involved for the price, again, I think it's around $13, but don't quote me on that. Um, I'll put that when I post the final video. Hey, Becky. Um, probably scared the heck out of her by calling her name. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry if I did. Um, so anyway, I really feel that this is a great value card kit. So you get nine cards and envelopes plus the other everything. And again, it's around $13. I need to look that up. So we're moving on to card two already. And this is the one we need, the like circular rainbow one. So I'm gonna do my little trick where I fold it back, fold it forward. Oh, 
Look at how flat that is. Wow, that one really went back flat. So we need, we're gonna need another nine and a half inches of our twine. We're gonna need, just wanted to say, so where are we? To say, where's the just wanted? Just one, okay, wow. Just wanted, oh goodness. To say, and then we need our little, oops. Thank you from our really cool greeting sheet. So we need that and we need my twine, which I buried. And I'm just gonna un not unfold my instructions and just use my grid paper. And don't forget, you need to repeat these for each card and I'm only doing one of each card tonight. So we need to bring in our short adhesive strip for this one on the back of each of our little greetings. Like that. Oops. Stay on there. Okay, yeah, that's hidden. And then we need one for the back of the big thank you. And it looks like it goes on the bottom like that. So, and we need to make our little loop-de-loop -loop, and that's gonna go on the back of the to say, to say. I need to redo that one because look, it's curling. That adhesive is not, that's better. So again, fold your twine into thirds about. Oh shoot, those little buggers come off the sheet really fast and easy. So I need to fold this into thirds. That is not thirds. So they're about three inch. They're not really loops, but in about three inch sections. Again, doesn't have to be perfect because it's just a loop for um, accent. Release the backing on the two say. Ooh, let's make sure that that is face side up. So make sure your greetings when you're messing with them are face side up. Probably should make that up a little bit more because it's going to go toward the bottom of the card. Yep, that looks good. And we're going to go ahead and start putting this stuff down. So, wow, that really does get kind of chill. Oh, and we're, this is a landscape card. Note to self, it is a landscape card. So we're going to put this so it overhangs in the green of the middle a little bit. We need to do our just wanted. This card kit's going together really, really fast. Oh, I have my loops going the wrong direction according to the instructions. And you know what? I don't know if it really matters. I, let's see if I can get that up. Yep, I can get it up without. So, just so you know, it goes, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do it an alternate way because this because of where they're attaching it, it kind of gets really floppy. I think we're going to just do it this way. We're going to lay it on the card first. That's my tip right there is to lay it on the card first because it does get kind of, um, because you're not attaching it in the middle, you're attaching it toward an end. Just wanted to say we're almost done with card two. Wow. Thank you. And we'll put that so it matches the bottom of a card. Just kind of overlap your stuff and that does support it. So that's cool. And we need five of these um, little accents, little diamond type accents. Just place them wherever your heart Let's see they're falling off they have some good sticky I think they're just not sticking to the acetate sheet very good but they'll they seem like they stick to this one two three four five I like that so there's card two how stinking cute is that okay card three 
This is moving fast. So for card three, we need our last card base. It's the kind of watercolor, rainbowy watercolor. Again, fold your base. I find it easier. Some people like to fold them at the end. Um, I like to work from a folded card base just because then I can get a visual of what I'm working with. We'll need, I appreciate you. So we'll need one of our scripty greetings in cursive for those that don't remember or know what cursive is. One of these little punch out, punch out heart card layers. We'll need this. Looks like we need our long strips. So these are the long strips of our um, adhesive foam strips. And we'll need only six inches of the twine. They're just trying to throw us off. So we need one, two, four, three. Well, there's you go. There's a six inch measurement right there. Um, so we'll need, doesn't say it but obviously we have to punch out our hearts so that must be just an understood step and I would save your little hearts for future projects you could make a shaker card out of them <gasps> yes do it do it make a shaker card out of them this is when I need game music because this is a tedious step it's going fast. It's just, you know, but yes, that's a lot of hearts. Once you punch out all three of them, you could make a couple shaker cards out of that. That would be really cute people. Someone do it. My lovely assistant myself is almost done punching out hearts. Ha ha ha. Okay, so that is the front with the black edge. Flip it over and it looks like we put a long strip on the top, the bottom, and then in the middle just below our what probably is the greeting window. So That's not the straightest strip, but it works. Nobody said your adhesive had to be perfectly straight. Nobody sees it. So it looks like one, two, three, one, two, three. You get just a tiny bit extra for the strips, but don't forget you can use those edges too. Use the whole sheet. I don't waste a single smidge of dimensionals that looks like it's out. Yeah, that doesn't, that's not visible. Okay, so flipping that back over, going back to our instructions. Oh, I need to put a short adhesive behind the I appreciate you. And we've cut our twine. We've got a pile of little hearts just waiting to be used for something. Um, so we need to go ahead and release the backing on the back side of this and put that down on our card front. Just a reminder, this card has no stamping on it. Oops. Okay, so y'all can probably see me a lot more square than I can. Yeah, it's not quite square because the camera's in the way. Let's take a look. Okay. Better visual. That's better. Okay. So step one or that release. Step two, I appreciate you flip the right way. We're gonna make a small little two inch section loop-de-loop -loop thing. And we're just gonna put it in the middle like that. 
And we're going to go, I appreciate you. So many people deserving of this. Put it in the middle. I've got my loops going the different direction from them, but I actually like that better. Um, and we need to add, like our other cards, five of these. Okay, so... Oh, I forgot one on the one. <laughs> okay, so we'll just put them randomly around to... Three, four, five. That works for me. Okay, I, I did put five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. One fell off. Look at that. That one's the one kind of floating around. Okay. Just checking. So one, two, three, four, five. So we get lots of these things to use. So that's good to know. So that is it for card three. That is it for our kit. And let's go take a look at the, top, the front of our instructions again. And let's bring our cards back. Clean all this mess up a little bit. Again, very easy. Really the only tool you need is for scissors for this. That's really about all you need. So let's take a look at it with the envelopes. And we have card one. Yep, that's card one. Oh my gosh, I'm going to put my instructions aside. Card one, card two, which is just singing with sunshine there, and card three. Look at how pretty this card kit is and how easy. Oh my gosh, I assembled it in less than a half hour. And granted, that was with teaching, but I would be willing to bet that even the beginner crafter could probably assemble all nine cards in about an hour. That's nine cards in an hour. I don't know how much that comes out per minute, but that's pretty good odds, people. And it's cute. It doesn't look like an inexpensive card at all. It actually is really cute. And um, anyway, that's all I have for Let's Get Together tonight. Um, I hope you've enjoyed and are, you know, want to look at getting this card kit. I will note the item number and the price when I post the final video so go back and get caught up or watch it later do it with your kit why wouldn't you want this kit Cal? it's so cute and if you don't need a thank you card so use that and come up with your own greetings just use the card base I don't know I think of I, I again I can think of all kinds of alternates and these little hearts are calling to me to do something with um, but thank you for joining me for another edition of let's kit together this has been Sandy McManus with NeedsRibbon.com. And I'll see you on the next one. And on the next one, we will be doing, I believe, I have to look at my schedule. I believe I already have it. It's not been opened. The Wreath of Blooms kit. So that's another new kit. The Wreath of Blooms kit will be, I believe, my next kit together on some date that I don't know off the top of my head. But thank you for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.